Okay, I'm at the lookout. Supposed to get a lot of rain, three inches of rain in LA and Ventura areas where the fires were, calling for flooding. He socked in at the Salton Sea down there. Can't see the geothermal plant, but definitely putting off some moisture down in there. The mountain's just barely peeking above the clouds there. Low sun is up. That's kind of where the clouds are hanging on the mountains here. A little rainbow. Slight rainbow. Barely make it out right there. And then up over this way. Clouds down. It's about 2,500 feet here. It's out of the cloud levels. It's kind of everywhere actually. Yeah, very slight rainbow. Looks like it's getting a little brighter. Right there. Yeah, there's geothermal plants down there. I'm sure add moisture to the atmosphere. I didn't believe it at first, but if you think about it, there's plenty of moisture in the atmosphere as there is. So adding a bit more to produce rain wouldn't take that much. And if they did it across the country as they're moving these storm systems and they're adding to them, like Weather War 101, whoever that guy was, he's disappeared like Scott Stevens. I think there were the one and the same. But yeah, look at the crispuscular rays from the sun there through the clouds. There's no way that sun is 93, 98 million miles away. It's close. Wouldn't produce the crispuscular rays like that. There's just so many obvious things that once you get past your cognitive dissonance and normalcy bias and willful ignorance but we were also indoctrinated i mean from just little kids that show you a globe uh, i mean just looking in, out over here just looking at the mountains even there's a valley and mountains but it's still you can still picture it flat they have people taking p pictures 200 miles away of structures mountains that should be like hundreds of miles below the curve at eight inches squared per mile. So, anyways, that's my report. Under the dome on the flat earth.